Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another class with Verbling. Um, this is Teacher Abby here, and this is my last class of the day, so hopefully you can join. We've got a few open spaces. We're going to do a crossword puzzle after we read a short story, but before we even do that, we're going to play a little game where we ask each other questions and practice giving answers, okay? So welcome, Ali, to the class. How are you? Hi, Abby. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Good. Ali, are you getting tired? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Yes. What I, time I is it? Know. It's uh, 11 p.m. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. I don't know why yeah. I always think it's really late, but now I don't teach very late for you, do I? Uh, no. So you're it's getting more okay. sleep. You're getting more sleep now. No, no, maybe you teach uh, one hour later, it, it will be uh, better for me. You like start. one? To start at midnight? No, no, uh, for, uh, my, for my uh, hour, maybe start uh, at 9 p.m. or okay. something like that. Okay. Well, welcome back to the class, Ali. I'm happy that you made it. And we also have with us Isaac. Isaac, how are you? Hi, Abby. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm doing well. And you? Good. Very well. It's nice to have you back. Tell me about your plans for the weekend coming up. Anything exciting happening? No, I think this weekend, no, I have no plans yet. No plans. Should we help no, you? Do you want me to help you? No, for now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure something appears. I'm sure. I'm sure. And do you and your wife get Saturday and Sunday off? Or do you have to work on the weekends? No, we work on Saturdays. Okay. What are your two days off? Is it just Sunday or do you get Sunday and Monday? Sunday and Monday. Sunday and Monday. Oh, yeah. that's very good. Well, it's a bit early to be talking about the weekend then. You still have to have your brain in work mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you back with us. And Ali, what about you? Do you have anything exciting planned for your weekend? No, not yet. Uh, I think you don't have classes that weekend, right? I do. I have classes on Saturday. Really? Three. Oh, <laughs> uh, good. Okay, so my weekend plan is obvious, I think. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 um, I have to save all my money so I can come visit Turkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you, I have to, I you have want to, to make a, a killing. <laughs> I have to make a killing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Yes, I'm working a little bit on Saturday. I have not booked any classes on Sunday yet, but I think I might teach Sunday morning. I just don't want to book if I'm not 100% sure that I can do it. So it'll probably be a last-minute thing. Okay. Good for me if you have a class. <laughs> we can have our Sunday tea together. Yes. Well, this looks I like it's like going to be... Sorry? Uh, I like to uh, uh, drink tea with you. <laughs> tea via Google Hangouts. We'll start a new trend. Do you remember that class where, um, I don't know if anyone's seen it, but the girl, the Asian girl that eats on on live camera? Do you remember that? Uh, I think I remember <laughs> that uh, she uh, was eating a lot uh, during the class, and I think uh, uh, at the end he uh, she ate his, uh, her com computer. Exactly. <laughs> because uh, she left the class, <laughs> maybe. No, I'm talking. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking about something else. I'll explain it to you another time. We better get started with our story, okay? I don't know. It was your class or another teacher class. Uh, she was eating too much uh, on, <laughs> in the class, and 
she disappeared uh, suddenly. I thought uh, she ate uh, the computer. She <laughs> finally. got carried away. She got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was talking about a girl who's famous for eating on live broadcast. She like oh, people watch oh, yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. I she... remember. I I remember now. Yeah. Uh, so we could start a tea drinking live broadcast. Drinking tea. Hmm. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get started with our lesson. The story is I've got you covered. It's about Abby and Jeremy, two characters, and um, they're, they're separated, they get a divorce, and they make a promise that later is difficult to keep. We're going to learn about their story, use the vocabulary to fill out a crossword puzzle. But let's talk about the title of the story. Isak, can you please read the title of the story? Can you see it in the chat box there? No? Yes, now. One minute. Just the title. I've got you covered. I've got you covered. Okay, so let's talk about what do you think that means, that expression? If I said to you, don't worry about it, Isaac, I've got you covered. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe he could be uh, something like uh, like uh, when you are trying to avoid uh, something. Mm -hmm. uh, I mm -mm -mm. Uh, don't know how to explain. I. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yay! Good job. <laughs> Nicely done. If something someone says to you, I've got you covered, it means I'm going to take care of you or I am going to help you with a situation. Okay? Oh. That's what the idiom means. So let's talk about it for a moment. When might you say that to somebody? When might you promise to somebody or say to them that you've got them covered? When someone is in problem or can you can you give me a specific example? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. What about you, Ali? Can you think of an example when you might say to someone, I've got you covered? Maybe uh, you uh, divorce your wife or husband and uh, uh, it, uh, uh, he or she will be a difficult situation. You can say that. Uh, or uh, your best friend, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, if uh, uh, jobless, uh, you can help uh, him or her, uh, someone from your family, brother or sister, you can take care of them. Uh, many people you can uh, get the cover. You can have them covered. Yeah, have them covered. Absolutely, good example. So that's the title of the story. So that's kind of like making somebody a promise um, that you're going to help them, that you're going to support them, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to read our story together. Let's have um, Isaac. You're going to read the first part for me. Just one second while I share the screen share. Abigail and Jeremy. Okay, could you please read for me the first 
paragraph. Just one second. I'm having a slow. There we go. Okay, go ahead with the first paragraph. Perfect. Abigail and Jeremy got divorced about 10 years ago. Abigail did not want to see a lawyer, worried that it might turn ugly. So she talked to Jeremy, who agreed that it was a good idea to not use lawyers. He said not to worry, he would take care of her. She said she wasn't looking for a free ride. She could take care of herself, but Jeremy insisted. He would help her out, then or whenever she needed money. It was the least he could do for her, since she was not taking 50% of, of his income and property. Perfect. Very good. So tell me, Ali, what is the story or what's the situation between Abigail and Jeremy? Uh, they were uh, husband and wife and they uh, divorced, divorced and uh, I think uh, they uh, agree each other about uh, their future life after the divorce and uh, Jeremy promised uh, to her uh, that uh, he will take care about uh, her. Exactly, take care of her. Yeah, take care of her. Very good. Isaac, what do you think about that? They didn't want things to turn ugly. What do you think that means? I think that means that when uh, there is or there are uh, lawyers in the in the in the uh, separation, they could be more difficult because they pretend to to get the the the, the maximum benefit for his for their clients and it it can be the can be even more uh, difficult between the, the couple. Exactly, right? Things can get really complicated and uncomfortable. Good. And what do you think? Hi, Joad. Welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Yes, <coughs> thank you. Um, Okay, just an open for whoever catches it. What do you guys think about what's a normal arrangement in a situation like this? What's an, a normal agreement that people might come to in your country or with your friends or somebody that you've heard of? 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. That makes sense, right? But what's, how is this situation different? Uh, if... Uh one of uh, couple want too much, uh, husband or wife, uh, and uh, uh, see a lawyer, uh, want to get uh, many things, uh, the other from other, uh, other, uh, and uh, the situation is uh, difficult, I think. Yeah, then it becomes ugly, like we said, or difficult. Yeah, turn to ugly. Turns ugly, uh, for sure. Yeah. But for whatever reason, this couple has agreed that it was not going to be 50-50. So let's read about what happens next, okay? Um, let me just double check. We'll have Jawad read the second paragraph here. Jawad, go ahead. Yes. So so Jeremy gave her um, $10,000 before they got divorced 
because Abigail said that would be all she would need to finish getting her master's de degree and start teaching. And that what wa was it for the next 10 years after getting her degree, Abigail worked ha as a teacher. She liked her job and the people she worked with. Unf unfortunately, a tornado wiped, wiped out the entire school and half the town. Many teachers got laid off. Abigail spent a money visiting family and friends, but then had to finish, find a new job. Excellent reading, Jawad. Let's repeat a couple of those words, okay? First of all, divorced. Divorced. Very good. Wiped. Waked. There you go. So it looks like wiped, but in English we pronounce it wiped with a T sound at the end. W wiped. Okay? There you go. Divorced okay. and wiped. Divorced. White. Wiped. Waked. There, go. there you go. That was perfect. All right. So, Ali, what was the agreement? What did they agree on um, upon getting a divorce? Ali, are you there? Yes. Uh, Jeremy uh, gave uh, her ten thousand uh, dollars before uh, they got divorced. Divorced, and uh, uh, Abigail wants to uh, he. Uh, cover his uh, expenses uh, uh, during uh, her master and uh, uh, finishing her master's writing. Exactly. There you go. That's it. So that's she said. That's all she's going to need. Um, then what happened, Isaac? What happened next? Uh, well, next uh, after she got the the money, she uh, started to work as a teacher. Mhm. Mm Excellent. Good understanding. And she loved her job, but then something really unfortunate happened. Jawad, what happened after that? Uh, sorry, uh, excuse me, I don't understand. What happened after that, after she got her her job as a teacher, what happened next? Ah, uh, after next, uh, she uh, she got uh, she got laid, laid off because uh, a tornado wipe, wiped out the entire school. Okay. Very good. It wiped out the school. So then she had to do what? Uh, she, uh, she, uh, she, um, she need to find a, a new job. Excellent. Very good. The school was destroyed. She needed to find a new job. Oveid, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? I am okay. Thank you for joining the class today. Oveid, where are you from? Where are you uh, from? I'm so sorry to come late. No, from don't be sorry. Saudi We're Arabia. happy to have you. <laughs> from Saudi Arabia. Thank you for joining us. It's nice to have you with us today. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to continue on. And Ali, could you read the next paragraph for you? For us, I mean, read the next highlighted part. Okay. Uh, she decided to change careers. To do so, she needed to go back to school for two years. Her tuition and living expenses would cost her $25,000. 
he called Jeremy, she and Jeremy had remained friendly over the years. Jeremy, I need a big favor, she said over the phone. Excellent. Very good. So, what happens here, Ali? What does she decide to do when she finds herself in a difficult situation? She uh, decided to change uh, her career mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, she needed to go back to school for two years and uh, her uh, tuition uh, and uh, living expenses uh, cost uh, will cost uh, twenty five thousand dollars she she needs a uh, tons of money right now mm -hmm. and uh, she called uh, jeremy again uh, wants uh, a favor from him. good excellent understanding why do you think she felt comfortable to call Jeremy? Why do you think she felt comfortable to call him? Who can tell me? For me or? For anybody. For anybody who thinks they know the answer to that question. Because they were good friends. And uh, Jeremy promised uh, her uh, that uh, he would help uh, her. Exactly. He made a promise that said if she ever needed help because she didn't take 50, that he would help her in the future. Okay. And let's finish. Oops. Oh, look what I've done. Oops, that easy. Oops, Oops that easy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> What's the meaning of Oops. Oops means like I made a mistake. Uh, okay. Uh, Obey, could you please yes. read that for us? Uh, really, I can uh, connect with with you by smartphone because this point is very smaller. I can't see it. Okay, no problem. Let's get go back to um, Isaac. Would you like to read that for us? When I come come back to my house, I will connect with you uh, by laptop. Wonderful. That sounds great. Well, we'll get Isaac to read it for now. Okay. Uh, sure, Ravi. You name it. Jeremy replied agreeably. Jeremy had a great job and a good life. She told him that she had been laid off and she needed uh, $25,000 for a degree and a new career. The friendliness left Jeremy's voice. She reminded him of his promise 10 years ago to help her out whenever she needed it. Yeah, Abby, but that was 10 years ago. That's history now, right? Have you tried your local bank? Okay, so what happened? What happened to his promise? Ovei, did you catch it? Uh, no. His promise has been broke. He broke, broke. his promise. Promise uh, broke for uh, promise. Uh, broke for uh, promise mean liar. Yes, exactly. He lied. He did not keep his promise. <laughs> okay. This turn uh, into history. He what? <laughs> turn into history promises like that. Yeah, the pro the promise is in the dust <laughs> in history. It's history now. Very good. So what do you guys think? What is your opinion on what Jeremy said and did? Jawad, do you think that Jeremy should have given her that money or do you think that he was right to say that was in the past? Uh, I think uh, I think for me it's uh, it's normal. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, uh, uh, but uh, I don't uh, understand uh, very well uh, this story. So uh, uh, I think maybe you missed. I don't. I don't have a, a good. Uh, 
That's okay. I think it's because you missed the first paragraph. So it might be feel like you're missing it. Um, what do you guys think? They've been divorced for 10 years, and now Abby would like to have some money from her ex-husband so she can go back to school. What's your opinion? Pardon? If you Pardon me? Mind, oh. Yeah, if you don't mind, please uh, read this paragraph faster. You want you want me to read it? No, you are reading because we we try to catch this idea. Okay. I, I'm not I'm not sure but, exactly. Uh, but uh, Abby, we don't know. Uh, uh, what they have be uh, before they divorced. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that says uh, Jeremy uh, had a, a, a good job and uh, they earn a lot of money. And maybe after the divorce, divorce, and uh, uh, maybe uh, she uh, want uh, too much money from him. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why uh, he says uh, that uh, it was history. Have you tried your local bank? It's funny. Uh, I think Jeremy uh, thinks that uh, she uh, looks like uh, look look at uh, him like a bank. Uh, there is uh, 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 money all the time. And uh, uh, whenever I want, uh, I can get money from uh, him. Yeah, I, um, I, I definitely agree with uh, what you said there. You've got a good point. Okay. But, but maybe it's not too much money, uh, $25,000. I yeah, don't know uh, their it, situation before the divorce. It's true. It could depend on, on what the situation was, so that might change everything. Okay, let's move on. We're going to look at some vocabulary that we have in the story, and we're going to use this vocabulary later um, in our crossword puzzle. So it's important that you guys understand it. David, welcome back. It's good to see you. Hi, Amy. Hello. Hello. Can you please read the, the list for us, David? It's good to have you with us. Go ahead and read that list on the screen share. David. Okay, thanks. Uh, career, divorce, entire, favor, service, lawyer, property, remind, tornado, execution, uh, of you. Excellent. The only one I want you to repeat is tornado. Okay, tornado. Excellent. Any questions on our list of words? Yeah. The yes. Tuition. Tuition. Uh, tuition yeah. Money paid for schooling or education. Mm. The tuition is the cost of um, education or schooling. Anybody else have a question on the vocabulary? Divorce. Uh, what do you mean of divorce? Divorce is when a marriage is legally ended. Yeah, it's I see. The opposite of marriage is divorce. Okay. Any other okay. questions? Uh, tornado, is it the same uh, twist? Twister. Twister and tornado are the same. Okay. Thank okay. You. No problem. Hi, Victor. Are you with us? How's your audio working? Hi, Abby. Wow, uh, Victor, it's working. Yes, but uh, it's constantly broken. Uh, as wow. Far, as now. <laughs> Do you think it's your internet connection? 
Yes, my provider uh, works not so good. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Victor. Hopefully you can stay with us for the rest of the class. I hope so, too. Okay, so now that everybody has gotten a good look at the words, let's try to do a crossword. Let's try to do our puzzle, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, click on the, the word. It will come up here at the top. You'll read it, and then I can give you a hint if you need extra help, okay? So let's go ahead. Oops, sorry. Let's go ahead, and we can start with um, Jao, Jawad. Could you please do number one? Read the sentence and fill it in with a word. Yes. Teacher, I uh, if you are, I want to I want to say something before. Okay. Uh, now I maybe I disconnect in with your class. After uh, 50 minutes, I will come back. It's okay, that's no problem, Obey, No problem. Um, the class will only be going on for another 25 minutes. But you 25. are more, okay. you are more than welcome to rejoin us if you want. Okay, thank you for joining me. Okay, thank you, thank you, Sita. Take care. Go ahead, Jawad. Uh, if you are looking for uh, uh, that you will love, become a teacher. For uh, if you are looking for uh, a partner, it starts with a C. Ah. Uh, A companion? Mm -mm. It has to do with, it's like a, another word for a job or an occupation. Just uh, Sorry, but uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> a career. Ah, uh, yes. A career. If you're looking for a career that you will love, become a teacher. What do you think, Joa? Do you think that you would love to be a teacher? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, two <laughs> years ago, I uh, I was a, a teacher of mathematics for mm -hmm. uh, paid uh, my school, and uh, <laughs> I don't uh, I don't want to uh, to come back uh, a teacher. <laughs> You can say, I don't want to go back to being a teacher. Yes, I don't want to go, to go back uh, to being a teacher. Okay. <laughs> We're very special people, Joad. Only so many people can be teachers. <laughs> okay, go ahead with two down. Uh, always it's me or... It's um. We'll go down over to Victor with two down. Uh, uh, the food and service at the restaurant were terrible. Uh, actually, I, um, I'm a little bit stuck. I Here, I'll give you a hint. It starts with R E. It's when somebody um, wants to forget, but they can't. What's the opposite uh, of forget? Remind? Uh, exactly. Remember. Don't remind me. Yeah. Remind, the first one. Don't remind me. Oh, yes. Good job, Victor. What is something that you do not want to be reminded of? Uh, uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe English. <laughs> <laughs> You've had enough English. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with our next one. We can have um, Ali. Ali, do number eight. Across for us. Okay. According to NBC, the blank world is going to watch the 2008 Olympics. Uh, 
and and tire. Good job, fantastic. What do you think about right now? What's the entire world watching right now? Do you think? World Cup. Yeah, lots of people all around the globe are watching the World Cup. Good. Not, not me. Not me or you. Yeah. We're, too, we're too busy drinking our tea. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> having class. <laughs> having class and drinking tea. Those are the most important things. <laughs> okay, seven down. Can we get you to do that for us, David? Seven down. Seven down. Okay. A little black told him to leave a note on the windshield of the car. She had just back in. Do the right thing. A little. Can you say that again? Uh, what? 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 Sure? What do you think the word is? Oh yeah. Mm. A little child. A little voice. <laughs> so this is an expression in English. This is an expression in English. We say a little voice told me. It's saying like something inside of me was telling me. So it's not literal, it's very, um, it's metaphorical or it's idiomatic, okay? David, does a little voice ever tell you anything? Yeah, uh, it's called the subconscious. Yeah, exactly. So tell, give me an example of when a little voice might say something to you. For me? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Mm, maybe for example, when I when I am sitting in the in public transport, and suddenly uh, maybe an old lady get on the bus, mm -hmm. my my little boy said me uh, grab and uh, and give the seat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Something, it's just that feeling inside where you go, no, that's not what I'm going to do, or this is what I'm going to do. Does anyone else have an example of when a little voice might tell you or motivate you in a certain direction? Like this, a little bird told me something. It's exactly the same. It's the same as saying, a little bird told me. Uh, but uh, it's a difference, right? A little bird, someone say something, maybe. You heard some, something from someone. Um, yeah, you're right. It could be. You're right. It could be, Ali. It could be literally that you did hear something. But a little voice told me could also be the same thing. Could be that somebody told you something, literally. But it just depends on on how it how it's being used. I think uh, a little voice is like a gut feeling or something. More yeah. like a gut feeling. Yeah. You're right. Okay, should we go to Isaac? Can you do number nine across for us? If you, with washing the dishes, pile with painting the bedroom. Sarah told Bob. So this is a phrasal verb. Phrasal verb. It means to assist. Starts with H. Starts with H. I don't remember. I don't know. Sorry. That's okay. The first, the verb part is help. So do you remember the preposition? Start with help. Help. And then what was the preposition that added? we added to it? Ali? Help out. There you go. Help out. So help out is to basically to help or lend your, to work to support something, a, a certain chore or task that needs to be done in a day. So, Isaac, what do you think? What's something that you help out with at home? 
Mm. Oh, really? We... I, I don't help out. <gasps> much. Well. Uh, let me explain. Because we do the all things 50-50. Uh, okay, so you do. You do help out. You yeah. say, I help out 50-50. I help out and my wife helps out, you can say. Well, I, I don't like uh, to think I help out because uh, the, uh, the, the, the things or tasks in the house are mine too. Okay, interesting it's my point house. of view. I my house you misunderstood. Out is not house. meaning uh, don't have... Like, yeah, to help out means that you do, but I, Ali, I think what he's saying is that the idea between behind help out is that you are contributing to something, but he's saying it is his house, so he's not helping out, he's just doing what he's supposed to be doing. I know what you're saying, Isaac, but in English we use help out for those expressions as well. You can say, I'll help out with the laundry, or I'm going to help out with this. Everybody helps to get the chores done in the house. But that's no. good that you do 50-50. That makes you a good husband. Yeah, because it's it's my my clothes, my mm -hmm. food, <laughs> my dishes. It's my obligation too. Lovely point of view. I quite like <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Jawad, let's go to you. Can you do four across for us? Uh, people use to get their downsize. Uh, people used to get... To get... I don't know. Get la laid off. Laid off. Good job. Laid off. Can you repeat? Laid off. Laid yeah, Joa, do you remember what that means? L laid off. Do you remember that means from our earlier class today? Yes, uh, it's uh, if you boss uh, fire you, uh, not not because you are uh, uh, a bad worker, uh, be, uh, because you are uh, because uh, economics of or uh, some, something else but not because uh, you are a bad worker. Excellent. Good memory. I'm impressed. Yeah. Ah. Very good <laughs> memory. Okay, back to you, Ali, with number three. Three uh, down. U.S. Uh, troops that transferred from Afghanistan to Iraq might have to rank to Afghanistan. Go back to Afghanistan. There you go. This this one's full of phrasal verbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. Good job. So Ali, tell me about a time when you've had to go back to something from your past or go back to a location you had visited before. Uh, after university, I uh, uh, had to go back to my uh, homeland. I had to go back to my homeland. Perfect yeah. example. David, five down. Sure. Five, five down, yeah? Mm -hmm. Five down or sixteen? Five down, yeah. Sorry, I, I can't hear you. My connection is bad. Um, ah, no. Okay, I got you. Okay. Drunk, uh, blank that he was drunk, blank that he was okay to let no one believe, no one believed him. The drunk uh, think 
It's, it starts with an I. Yeah, drunk. Instead. You're very close. In. Insist. 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 Insisted. Excellent Insist. job. David, what would you do if a, if one of your friends was drunk and he insisted that he was okay to drive? What would you do? Uh, I think I would say him that uh, I am going to call a taxi and, and that he uh, should uh, give me the keys. Excellent. That's a great thing to say. Don't let him drive. <laughs> Isaac, six down. Daughters tend to mom in their looks, while sons tend to that. We have starts with an F. And then A. Mm. I have no idea. It's how they know. feel. It's like the daughter would rather be with mom and the son would rather be with dad. So they do what to them? It's like a copy, some, something like copy. Not not their imitation of them, no, but anyone want to help? Uh, favor. Favor, okay. So, Isaac, to favor is a verb that means to like something more than everything else, to have a favorite. Mm -hmm. Isaac, who do you favor, mom or dad? Or maybe you don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a, a, a predilection for one of, of one of my parents. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm the same. I don't play favorites. I say I don't. I don't have a favorite. Okay. Thank you very much, Isaac. We'll go to Joad with with ten down. Yes. Uh, some men co consider their girlfriend or wife to be their personal. Uh, that is someone they wa want. Uh, uh, their personal. Well, uh, personal. Uh, I don't know. Anybody? Position. Position. Close. You're very close. It starts with P R. Property. Uh, property. Property. Yes, property. What do you think about that, Jawad? What's your opinion? Uh, personal property. No, uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, the, the girlfriend is a property of uh, her. So, uh, the uh, uh, take uh, uh, at uh, okay, that's great. That's at, a good at answer. Any time, a father or something. Else. Yes. Nicely done. Good answer. She's the property of herself. Does anyone else have an opinion or a story about that um, comment there? Okay, let's go to 13 across with Ali. 13 across. Okay. Uh, Blank between a couple with young children will involve the issue of child custody and child support. 
divorce. There you go. Excellent. Good comprehension. What else? Um, what else will there be with this? Would divorce involve with children? What else might be become an issue? About children or? No, not about children. Besides the issue of children, what other issues will come up during this? Properties. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah, we got many things. Sorry? Please repeat. Whoever said, I heard somebody say something. Someone said 50-50. 50-50, okay, yeah. Um, so you, we call them assets. You, money, bank accounts, maybe family, pets. Those all things become issues. Um, oh, yes, pets. Right. <laughs> Good, excellent. Sure. David, over to you. Over to you, David, with 12 down. Okay. If you look blank in the yellow page you will be referred to attorneys with many many pages if you look up <clears throat> in papers it starts with an L and it's another word for an attorney uh, with L yeah, with an L. Mm. Oh, no, I don't know. Who do you call when you need legal advice? Uh, when do you, when do you need what? Legal advice. Uh, looks looks. A lawyer. No. Uh, A uh, lawyer, yes. right? What kind of cases might a lawyer deal with, David? What kind of cases? When you are in trouble. In trouble? Can you give me an example? Mm, when you when you are going to divorce. When you're going to divorce, that's very true. <laughs> okay, very good. Number fourteen across over T Sec. Some Californians think that the earth has been baking. There will be shaking. The bake and shake theory of earth earthquakes. It starts with W. It does, W H. So it's um, talking about a location. Whenever. Whenever. Whenever the earth has been baking, there will be shaking. Okay. Any questions on that one? No. 15 across with Jawad. Yes. Uh, which can give bids of 300 mph rarely occur in the morning sleeping uh, Uh, I don't know, sorry. Okay. Wipe, wipe out the town. It's a weather. Tornado. Tornado. Yeah. Twister. No. A twister or a tornado. Fantastic. Good job. Um, and can you repeat for me? Rarely. Rarely. There you go. Much better. Rarely. 
um, rarely occur in the morning. Rarely. Uh, 11 down, Ali. We're almost done. We've got two more words. We're going to finish our crossword puzzle. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there is no blank here. I think the answer is the first two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ali, do 16 across. Yeah, they tricked oops us. A, oops, a daisy. <laughs> oops, a daisy. 16? Yeah, 16 uh, across. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt was a homely, if not, woman who had a long life of achieve achievement. Looks have nothing to do with talent. <laughs> Ugly. Ugly. That seems terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Good job. You guys, that was absolutely fantastic. Good reading. Excellent use of the vocabulary. Really nicely done answering those extra questions. Do you have any questions for me before we close the class? 